USB-C charging, full Linux support, sort of, QWERTY keyboard, a headphone jack, but where can you get these specs in 2024? You can, bro. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about this phone. Um, it's the last smartphone that BlackBerry ever made before they died. Um, and yeah, today we're going to talk about why there's like a real argument and why people still use these, uh, including me, for a pretty good amount of time. Initially, I was going to make a review on this monitor, but it fucking, it, it literally died yesterday while I was playing tabletop simulator with my friends. Um, so, kind of pivoting for today. And also, you see that monitor? It also died a week ago. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about how I use the device. This is coming from someone who uses their smartphone as not really like an entertainment device um i don't have instagram or like social media on my phones um i'm using this as a productivity device so something to organize my life manage my tasks responding to messages communication so this device still feels premium to me in 2024 i like the design their keyboard is nice the space bars on these tend to kind of wear out over time which is the main thing to look for if you're getting a used one the headphone jack sounds good the bluetooth quality is Good enough for me. There's a remappable key on the side here. The speakers are good. The vibration motor is pretty good. And yeah, the screen still holds up for me. As far as software is concerned, it is running Android 8, which at this point is fairly outdated. I think we're on Android like, what, 13 or 15 or something. Um, it's not receiving updates anymore. Um, I'm not super concerned about the security aspect of it. BlackBerry is pretty secure. So the main draw for me is having the QWERTY keyboard. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to navigate like a terminal on a smartphone using the on-screen keyboard, but like using Vim or Emacs is super unnatural, just like using the curly brackets to navigate or stuff like that, the colon. And having all those keys like out in hand is really useful for terminal stuff. I personally use Emacs org mode for a lot of my life and having the ability to access and edit uh, org mode files easily from my like portable terminal is super cool and super based <laughs> <laughs> so the apps i use to accomplish all that is i use termux as my terminal emulator to install i usually use like the termux distro um, you can install arch or any distro you want really from there i'll install emacs and then use the extension doom emacs and so that gives you evil binds which i personally prefer um, I'm just mad used to it at this point. From there, I'll use sync thing or git to sync my org files so that I will always have my org files on me so I can hack on the grocery store shopping line. So I'm currently actually not using the phone. I used it for about uh, a year and a half while I was in uni still. And I really enjoyed having all that stuff while I needed to like be out and about. Yeah, I'm not currently using it. I'm mainly using a dumb phone at the moment because all I really need when I'm out and about is just communication and like a book so um yeah i figured this might be helpful for some of you uh big nerds out there so yeah have a nice march <laughs>